Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the brand The Ordinary. Now I have quite a few products from The Ordinary myself and some of them it's not even my first bottle. So I'm going to take you through the products I have first, my experience with them, and then I'm going to talk a little, a little bit about some of the drama that's happened with The Ordinary over the past year. So right here first and foremost I have The Buffet Multi Technology Peptide Serum. This is my third bottle of this, actually. I use this every morning and occasionally at, at night. Next up, we have the Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. This is my second bottle of this. I really like this. I feel like it helps keep my skin less wrinkly. I use it almost every night. Next up, I have the Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. I use this whenever I'm starting to get zits. This is my, still my first bottle of it, but I've had it for a while. Next, I have my most recent addition to my little collection here. This is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I don't, I don't know that I can give you my full review on this yet because I've only had it for a little bit, but so far so good. I use this at night when my skin feels like it needs a little extra hydration. And then of course I have the Serum Foundation. There is a whole separate review on the Serum Foundation on my channel. The Ordinary is a Canadian based, I guess you could say Canadian originated company. Started in Toronto. I believe they're still based in Toronto, which is fantastic for me as a Canadian because I'm so used to you know, ordering something and having to pay a bajillion dollars in shipping, whereas because I'm Canadian and so is The Ordinary, I get free shipping over 20 or 25 dollars, I think. So every time I run out of something from The Ordinary, I just wait till I have 30 dollars worth of something and then I just buy it and it's not a huge deal. The other great thing about The Ordinary is the price. Most of their items go between five and 10 dollars Canadian, so extremely inexpensive, and all of the ingredients are fantastic. The issue that a lot of people have with ordering from The Ordinary is there's been a lot of drama within the brand the last year. The last year or so, I should say. Originally, Brandon and I believe her name is Nicole were co-CEOs of the company. And then Brandon fired Nicole. I don't know how that works because how do co-CEOs rank each other? But he fired her, fired the whole marketing team, and then kind of started using the Decium, which is, you know, the company and then The Ordinary is like a smaller little branch. He started using Desiem's Instagram as like a personal Instagram where he was posting, you know, like personal videos and talking and stuff. And it was getting a little, a little weird, I guess you could say. He was posting videos saying that he was trapped inside a hotel and he needed Mark Zuckerberg to come save him. He was saying things like people were after him, he needed help. Just a lot of, a lot of very intense stuff on this Instagram and towards the end he was saying that Everybody associated with Desiem was criminals. Uh, it was it was getting a lot. It was bringing a lot of ne negative attention to the brand, to be honest. And then I believe right at the end there, he started calling up stores and closing them. I think this is maybe the only time I could ever say this, but fortunately, the conglomerate that is Estee Lauder stepped in. I think Estee Lauder owns like 30% of the shares or something in Desiem. So they were able to sue to have Brandon removed. One, and then former co-CEO Nicole was reinstated, and now they have been kind of trying to bring bring themselves back and rebuild themselves. Now, I don't have any, any issues with this, to be honest, because if you look at this sort of content that Brandon was posting while he was having all of these issues, you know, like, it wasn't mean, and it wasn't malicious, and there was no hate, and it wasn't offensive. It was just strange. And honestly, his his sort of very public meltdown, to me, was very reminiscent of what we saw back in 2007 with Britney Spears, or what we saw more recently with Amanda Bynes. It didn't strike me as this is a bad person, it struck me as this is a person experiencing some sort of mental health issues, unfortunately, on a very public stage. So, like, that's so different to me than, like, Kat Von D, who's talking on Instagram about how bad formula is and how she's not going to vaccinate her children. Like, that's stupid, and that's messed up. That's not mentally ill. That's just stupid. I've seen people kind of talk about how they're not going to be ordering from the ordinary anymore after all those issues, but I don't see a problem. You know, nothing really went wrong. I didn't hear any issues of any orders being messed up or anything when Brandon was CEO anyway. He didn't do anything mean. There was no racism. There was no ableism. There was none of that. He just had a meltdown. And I think that's the sort of thing that people should be looking to support him through rather than just throwing his whole company away, you know? So I'm a really big fan of The Ordinary. I have this whole, I can't even, I don't even think I can hold them all at once. I have all of these, and I will continue to have more as I see fit because I love them, and I love the brand, and I love the eyedroppers, and the packaging is gorgeous. 
top quality. Shipping is fast. I think I put an order through on Sunday and it got here Tuesday. I have no problems. I love them. The quality is great. And that's really all I wanted to say is that it is unfortunate that Brandon had to have the meltdown so publicly that he did. But I'm hoping that with his time off or whatever he's doing, he's able to get help and then come back. Because that's really what we want, you know? Nothing but love over here. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time. Bye! It's difficult to weigh when I'm holding these all.